Okay, in this question, you are given a rubber ball and the rubber ball is dropped onto a table and it bounces back up. So this is a pretty familiar rebound question. All right, a table exerts a force F on the ball. All right, which graph best shows the variation with time of the force F for the short time that the ball is in contact with the table? So let's think about it. Let me draw the surface of the table and we envision the ball colliding with the table, okay? Let's say it collides with the table with a downward velocity V1, and it eventually rebounds and leaves the table with an upward velocity V2. So I think um, maybe I will draw V2 a bit far away because there are two intermediate phases that we actually do not, we cannot really see this because it happens very fast, ma. short time the ball is in contact, all right? So when this hits the surface of the table, what will happen to the ball is the ball will slightly, will begin to deform, okay, because it is pushing down against the surface of the table, all right, so if you have trouble thinking about this, I'm going to show you a short, mo a slow motion video about this now, okay, so here you can see that there is a ball, it's traveling downwards, and once it hits the surface of the table, so the table is down here, it's about to hit the surface of the table, so at this point is where it's in touch with the table. Uh, observe the shape of the ball. Is it still round? Well, Mr. Smiley face don't look very smiley anymore, doesn't it? So you can see that there's a deformation out towards the bottom part. So imagine you're pressing against the ball. If the ball is being deformed, it means that the table, the surface of the table is pushing up against the ball. So when is the force the greatest? When the deformation is the greatest? which as you can see, it increases to a maximum. This is where you have maximum deformation. And then it decreases back to a minimum. So it would decrease to a minimum. Yay! It's back to its original shape before it rises up again. So this deformation, when it's at its highest and lowest peak, so most deformation is this point, somewhere here. Okay, is where the force is the greatest. So the force, right, let's say when it touches the table, the force will increase, 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 maximum, decrease, 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 no more touching, force drop back to zero. So let us look at the graph. Which one represents this? Increase, increase, increase to a maximum, and then decrease, 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 drops back to zero. So if you're writing your notes, maybe it will be useful for you to also include drawings that look like this. This one will be deformed this way because it is still traveling downwards, but it's being it's traveling downwards, but slowing. Okay, so you can see that this is the force. Okay, it is increasing. So downwards, it is slowing. And then the force is increasing because there is more deformation. Okay, once your deformation is maximum, so this point here, this is when the ball deforms the most. When Mr. Smiley face is not that smiley anymore, okay, then it begins to rise up. It's like, you know, you need to go to your lowest point before you can go up again. So at this point, it begins to travel up it will leave the table or stop. I mean, it's still in contact with the table, not yet leave the table. This point is where it leaves the table. This point is where it touches the table. All right. So when it's going up, okay, it is uh, traveling faster and faster. So moving faster, the force began to decrease because the ball is returning to its original shape or getting less deformed original shape. Okay, so this is the expression. This part here, this part of the graph is represented by this shape. And this part of the graph, the on the way down portion is represented by when the ball is leaving. Okay, so maximum compression is here. Right, but the ball is in touch the entire time with the table. Okay, so that's all for the question and I'll see you for the next one.